Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. It's finally happened. Intel's 14 nanometer process seems to have reached its end. Don't get me wrong, the company has been on 14 nanometers for five years now, and they've owned the performance crown for most of that time. They still have some of the best single core performance around, depending on what CPU we're talking about. With that said, things have certainly changed since 2014, and Intel has clearly reached the end of the line for the 14 nanometer plus 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 process. Of course, I'm talking about the company's newest Core X line of CPUs. For those who don't know, the reviews are out on both Intel's Cascade Lake X CPUs as well as AMD's third gen Threadripper lineup of HDDT processors. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get either of them this time around, but I've been over a number of reviews, so let's go through it. Starting things off, most outlets only got a review sample of Intel's 10980XE, so that'll be the main focus on Intel's side. Luckily, most did get both a Threadripper 3960X and 3970X. Anyway, let's go over the specs. The 10980XE is an 18-core, 36-thread CPU with a base clock of 3GHz, an all-core boost of 3.8GHz, and their Turbo Boost 3.0 of 4.8GHz, and it comes in right at $1,000. Looking to AMD, we have the Threadripper 3960X, which is a 24-core, 48-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.8GHz, a maximum boost of 4.5GHz, and it costs $1,400. Lastly, the 3970X is a 32-core, 64-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.7GHz, the same maximum boost of 4.5, and it costs quite a bit at $2,000. Now, before you get to performance, there's one odd thing here. The 10980XE is more of a competitor to AMD's mainstream 3950X in both price and performance, so I'll have to discuss that as well, but keep your needs in mind. The 3950X is a mainstream platform, which means the motherboards are cheaper, but they also come with less PCI Express lanes, I.O., etc. With that said, AMD's X570 boards do offer PCI Express 4.0 versus Intel's 3.0, but just not nearly as many. Anyway, let's go over performance. Starting things off, you can see that Intel's 10980XE is an extremely iterative update that we expected from the company's continued use of their 14 nanometer process. Unfortunately for them, AMD's Threadripper lineup received some massive boosts in cache performance, which helps it gain huge dividends in overall performance when compared to last gen. Even in gaming, Threadripper gained huge and mostly beats Intel's 10980XE, though once you get to overclocking, I will say that Intel's CPU comes back with a vengeance. Of course, gaming isn't the main focus for really any of these chips, though it's good to know your processor can do it all in case you need it. When moving on to more professional workloads, while Intel has a few apps they simply excel in, overall things really start to fall apart for them, with the much cheaper 3950X either beating or going neck and neck with the 10980XE. With that said, once you overclock Intel's newest processor, it definitely makes up a lot of room, though the more expensive Threadripper lineup just crushes it in quite a few areas. Of course, it's that more expensive part that changes things a bit in the space. AMD has upped the price of their third gen Threadripper parts, which is understandable, kind of. Before, AMD still lost in quite a few areas, but they flat out taken the performance crown, which means they get to charge more for those who want the fastest, though $2,000 is still a really hard pill to swallow. Of course, it's a lot better than how things used to be. At the end of the day, when deciding, it's best to look at what you plan to do. Intel's 10980XE still has a place with its new price, while the 3950X definitely gets better price to performance. If you need more PCI Express lanes, the 10980XE isn't bad. Then again, if you want even better performance and PCI Express 4.0 instead of 3.0, Threadripper could be your best bet, but you'll have to pay for it. All in all, AMD has brought the pain, and while Intel still has a place with their newer pricing, Threadripper has officially taken the performance crown in the HEDT category, <clears throat> especially with that new 64-core Threadripper chip confirmed. So while that does it for today, what do you think? Is Intel gearing up for a comeback, or is AMD simply getting too far ahead? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe, and as always, have a great day.